Hello again and welcome to the best fans the world over, Aqua fans. Welcome to part three of the Aqua Fi. Standing up, he could look into his father's eyes despite being a forehead shorter. This was also inherited. Although Faltor was six feet five inches tall, Una was only five feet eight inches in height. This combination left Qualdor shorter than his father, but with the same display of broad shoulders, a deep chest, and defined muscles running the entire length of his arms. Like his father, this civilization esteemed Qualdor not because of his physical perfection, but for the qualities that were impressed upon him. The same kindness and love that his father possessed was also felt by others in Qualdor's presence. Lacking, however, was his father's wisdom. This was the only quality that only time and experience could dispense. It could not come any other way. Yet the wisdom he lacked in youth was substituted with a constant curiosity and quest for adventure. Falter put an arm around his son's shoulders and stood quietly for a moment looking through the clear, structurally sound glass. They stared at the marine life that swarmed all around them. For centuries their civilization lived under the sea. Yet every day it presented new sights to contemplate. Father looked at the man beside him and reminisced about the time this man was a boy. He remembered Qualdo running across his very same hallway, racing the fish on the other side. He wondered how the fish were able to run along with him. When Qualdo ran in a westerly direction, the fish sped westerly along with him. When he turned and ran easterly, it would also turn and speed along eastward. Download the Aquify now and read your copy of this exciting, groundbreaking novel.